Time for some Merc with a Mouth. Today we got Deadpool by Daniel Way, Omnibus Volume 1. It has an 896 page count and the cover price of $100. Let's get into this Omnibus review. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. It'll get yourself entered in a giveaway. Today we're looking at Deadpool by Daniel Way, volume one of two volumes. We got cover art from Jason Pearson here. Deadpool on the spine looking zany as ever. The bang with Deadpool on the back. Deadpool is way cool. Daniel Way cool. And Daniel Way does a great job with these, uh, these Deadpool stories in my opinion. There's definitely some mixed feelings on this run. People like the old school mercenary style, like the Rob Liefeld, Deadpool, but I like the zany, stupid fucking version of uh, Deadpool a lot. On the inside of the dust jacket, on the left-hand side, you have a buildup of what's heading into this run right here, and on the right-hand side, the creators. Then you get this really, really great wraparound cover here that's just real colorful and beautiful. Just Deadpool setting off this explosive uh, detonator and just crazy explosions from the background there. So that's just a real cool wraparound cover to have. And then uh, let's just take a quick look at the binding real quick. It's a rather tight binding. There isn't much of an eye. You don't get a ton of gutter loss in this book, which is very nice though. So that's always a good thing. So let's crack this thing open. This book does have nice bright red bookend pages. Then you'll get the title page here with Deadpool with this big ass gun. The complete collection volume one. So there are two omnibus from Daniel Way. And here we have the table of contents with everything that's collected in this book. And it has the creators listed for each issue. I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Organic Priced Books, the best place to get your omnibus and other collected editions. Super fast shipping, bulletproof packaging, and amazing customer service. Use promo code DROCK to get $2 off your purchase at OrganicPriceBooks.com. Join the OPB family today. So in this book, most of the stories will be written by Daniel Way, but then you also get uh, Dwayne Swarzynski. He it does a Deadpool 25, the bonus story. And then you'll get also Andy Diggle. He'll write the uh, Thunderbolts 130 through 131. There's a ton of different artists that worked on this book. So in this, you'll get Steve Dillon, Paco Medina, Carlo Barbary, Sean Crystal, Philip Bond, Bong Dazo, Jason Pearson, just to name a few, and then a bunch of others that I know I'll just absolutely butcher their names, so I'll just pass on that. And we'll just go into what is collected in this omnibus. So this does collect Wolverine Origins 21 through 25, Deadpool 2008 1 through 26, Thunderbolts 1997 130 through 131, Hitmonkey 2010A number 1, Hitmonkey 2010B number 1 through 3, and Deadpool Saga. This book kicks off with Wolverine Origins 21 through 25, which is a great story between Wolverine and Deadpool. It's good to see them teamed up and battling each other. Great cover there with Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, the, the artwork in this is kind of like strange. Th throughout the whole omnibus, it's kind of strange. So this is kind of like a more detailed, realistic look throughout this sort of in a way and then it gets cartoony in points gotta love that uh deadpool's just rocking his crazy insane face man wade wilson just burnt up all fucked up looking uh it it's more of a the the funny the zany the ridiculous style of um deadpool that we get from like the movies so if you're a fan of the deadpool movies with ryan reynolds you definitely enjoy this book most of the modern newer deadpool stories they're all kind of this where he's that like zany just cracking jokes he's got the different voices talk to him and stuff like that those are more of like what deadpool is now i don't think he's ever going to go back to kind of like how the original i filled uh deadpool was unfortunately i mean those are all great too i love all that stuff i love the old ranges of um deadpool he's just uh, just a cool character i kind of liked how he's evolved over the years and now he's just this kind of like real shit talking asshole um i'm kind of a big fan of that you get some great scroll stuff in here which is uh always fantastic see that you get some cartoony stuff here and it gets into just the real jokey style of deadpool which is good man i i'm a fan of that style of deadpool so if you're a fan of that style of deadpool these daniel way omnibuses will definitely be for you and there's a nice amount of violence and gore and stuff and throughout these which is always great to see i mean that's one of the things about deadpool that i love is just you get violence and just humor throughout it which is a, a thing you don't really see in any other marvel stuff which is uh, really cool that's why deadpool is just a really solid character so throughout this book you'll get you know the normal explosive action and a lot of like big bright colorful panels and stuff throughout it which is great you get a bunch of different cameos from x-men you get like uh deadpool battling against norman osborne and his new team of thunderbolts You'll have Deadpool trying to like join the X-Men and stuff like that, which is always pretty hilarious. And then you get actually some of that Hitmonkey stuff in the back of this book too, which is included in this, which uh, is actually the show on uh, 
Hulu now, I believe, which I still haven't gotten the chance to check out yet, but I do recall that there was some sort of controversy, or not controversy, but something about them trying to use Bullseye as a character in the show, but because of like the new uh, Daredevil Born Again series on Disney Plus that, you know, they wouldn't allow them to use the Bullseye character on Hitmonkey, so... You do get the Hitmonkey issues in the back. They're okay. They're, I don't know. They're not like my favorite. Definitely some of these issues throughout here are like hit or miss. Some of the storylines aren't the best. But you do from time to time just get a couple like pages with just like just funny hilariousness and great action moments. Which you would expect in a Deadpool comic, man. I think Daniel Wade does a great job of that. Um, you know, there's going to be some stuff in it that isn't the best. Uh, the artwork is kind of so-so throughout it. So... I mean, I enjoyed it, but I like just reading, like, goofy shit from time to time. So, I get Domino there popping up. So, you do get, like, a bunch of different, like, X-Men characters and classic characters from Deadpool's history. Like, Colossus. Uh, he's always clowning on Colossus. Spider-Man. So, you get all that great stuff. I mean, like, I like reading something like this from time to time to break up. I mean, I've been reading, like, Punisher and stuff lately. Like, super dark shit. So, Deadpool's a great read to just kind of break up the monotony of just, like, real serious storytelling. I think it's great to just read some stuff here and there where just an issue is just about some just straight-up nonsense. Uh, kind of like the reason why I like Wolverine and the X-Men. You know, some people hate on those books by Jason Aaron a lot, but I actually like the Wolverine and the X-Men. Um, you know, this is a... It's, it's your classic Deadpool here. I mean, I do... I prefer myself. I was a fan of the Uncanny X-Force, and I liked uh, the Deadpool in those books. I thought he was well done in that. That really, uh, a little bit of a darker, but still, like, humorous style of Deadpool. But um, all in all, I thought it was a great book, man. Here's the Hitmonkey stuff here in the back, which is just real strange, <laughs> really. Just him just with the fucking knife, yo. Just the Hitman monkey. And there's Bullseye, so... Personally, I enjoyed this book quite a bit. Um, I'm looking forward to Volume 2. I'm trying to knock out all these so I can actually get into the uh, Pusain and Dugan uh, Deadpool omnibus because I hear just amazing things about that book. I guess I would say after reading all this, I'd only really recommend this if you're into that real like silly style of Deadpool. If you're into like more of the old school Rob Liefeld mercenary style of Deadpool, then maybe this run isn't for you. But uh, I mean, the new modern stuff, this is really what you're going to get. But uh, let me know what you think about this book down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away Thor by Walter Simonson, Omnibus, and a mystery slab. All you gotta do to get yourself entered in a giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mention this giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, I'll use a random comment generator to announce the winner. Good luck.